Such videocy. Got these tattoos and I should have listened to them. Hello and welcome to VDC. I'm Maddie, and this is Matt's Tats, the visual and oral journey through my 115 and counting tattoos. Now, as of the time of this recording, in October 2018, I've been tattooed for 63 straight months, all by Mr. Jeff Brown at Custom Touch Tattoo. I first walked into Jeff's shop back in August 2013 with the intention of getting two tattoos for myself and one tattoo for my wife. Since then, we just haven't been able to stop, especially me. She's got 24, 25 tattoos, and we might highlight some of them as the show goes on. But right now, it's all about me. I'm not being selfish, you know. I'm just... It's mass tass is what it's called. What do you want? No, seriously. Um, at the time, I had been into tattoos. I liked them, and I had always thought I'd maybe get one or two. I had a couple in mind, um, most of which I've gotten since then. But uh, it was never really a priority for me, but... Um, it just came a time that my wife and I both really wanted to get our first tattoos and uh, haven't been able to stop, you know. Uh, anyway, we're going to go through my tattoos pretty much chronologically. Some of them connect a little bit and some of them have been added on to, so we'll get to them as we go along. But uh, we might as well start with the beginning, that day back in August 2013. August 15th, 2013, actually, was my tattoo anniversary uh, when we first, not when we first met Jeff, we actually met him the day before, when my wife and I decided we wanted to get tattoos. But we had a limited budget, so we had to find if we could find somebody who could do the work for what we wanted. And uh, there's a lot of tattoos, uh, tattoo parlors, tattoo shops around where we live, so we had no particular idea where to go. So my wife just uh, started calling. The first two she called were a little non-committal, saying uh, they weren't sure how much it would cost. We'd have to come in and talk to their artists, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And when she got Jeff, apparently he was in a good mood, as he likes to say, because he actually gave us a quote over the phone, and we were up there within the hour planning it out with him to get it done the next day. Um, the impetus for getting tattooed, well, my wife, she had a design in mind that she'd always wanted to do involving a flower and the names of her children and some other special people in her family. And, um, uh, for me, even though I had some ideas for tattoos, this was actually a new idea. Um, at the time, my wife, Casey, who you've seen and heard here on VDC at least a few times, and my cousin were like my two best friends, and I wanted some way to show them how important they were to me, so I came up with the idea of getting their names tattooed on me. I know, crazy, right, when I had no tattoos, and they always say you shouldn't get somebody's name tattooed on you, but... I always told my wife I would get her name tattooed on me if I ever started getting tattoos. She was uh, less committed to getting my name tattooed on her, but my name is part of her first tattoo, so I feel good about that. Anyway, uh, the first two tattoos, yeah, it was my wife and my cousin's names I was going to get tattooed on me. Uh, my wife's name, actually it's her nickname, Casey. That's not her actual name, but that's what she goes by. It's here. And um, put that up in the camera. I'll also probably just put some up some pictures up as we go along, but you see, I added on to it with the Bella. This wasn't part of it originally. Originally, it was Casey, and on the other side, there was another name, which is not there now. Uh, it's actually underneath my, I guess it's still there, but it's covered up by this tattoo, which is my first cover-up, which is another story for another time, and it has a, a, another part of the nickname to go with it as well that came along with the Bella, but originally it was Casey and Aggie, and uh, Aggie's gone now, but Casey remains still. My very first tattoo, the first thing that went on my body is right there. It's my wife's name, and uh, like I say, the Bella was added a little later on, but originally, yep, completely ink-free, two little names on the wrist. And I did have a thought as a Jeff had put the stencil on and had the tattoo machine buzzing and was just about to start tattooing, and I thought, man, what if this really hurts and I can't take it? But thankfully, it wasn't an issue. Obviously, as you can see, I've taken it just fine, 63 straight months, and it all began with just two little names. Uh, at the end of those tattoos that day, I, I went first. I insisted on going first. I had to be the first one to get it, so I was. And then um, at the end of those tattoos, Jeff said to us, you know, you guys going to be back or something to that effect. And my wife was a little more noncommittal. I was like, oh, yeah, I'll definitely be back, even though I didn't have any particular plans to come back anytime. I, I did enjoy the experience. I felt like I want some more of this, but I didn't know when it was going to come. As it turned out, it came just about a month later. But that's another story for next time. Come back then, and until next week, we'll video see ya. Peace out, y'all.